Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of DevOps real-time scenarios or DevOps real-time question. So this is video number 10 in this series. If you want to take a look at other 9 videos, you can check out in this playlist, alright? So before moving further, I would like to request that kindly subscribe the channel because that would really support me to grow because and it's free for you. Please help me grow this channel. Alright, so let's dive right into the problem statement. Okay, so this is a problem statement as you can see on my screen. So the first thing is, let me select the proper color. Okay, this would be fine. So let us consider a food delivery and a company which is delivering food. There are multiple availables over uh, in any country in India, in the US or any other country. We have a food delivery service. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now it is getting very famous and it's growing rapidly. So they are experiencing scaling issues at peak hours. When we talk about peak hours, peak hours mean people uh, when when people like to eat so for example breakfast for example lunch and for example dinner or maybe snacks time so they have their own time like when we talk about breakfast it's somewhere close to 8 to 10 a.m when we talk about lunch it is uh, close to uh, 12 30 to uh, 1 30 p.m and when we talk about uh, dinner we are talking about somewhere around 7 30 to 10 a.m sorry p.m and when we talk about snacks, we talk about 4 p.m. Okay, so this is the time distribution just for your understanding. So at peak hours at around this time, it is experiencing scaling issues. Okay, so uh, let's talk about the current architecture that we have. So right now we are using uh, two auto scaling group. So one auto scaling group is this. The other auto scaling group is this auto scaling group has our three EC2 instances. So the first thing to note about is the architecture is on AWS. All right. But this can be of any, on anything. I'm just taking an example of AWS. They have ASG1 and ASG2. In ASG1, there are multiple EC2 instances. In ASG2, there are multiple EC2 instances. I hope you already have an idea of what is auto scaling group. If you do not, uh, kindly take a look at the. There are multiple videos available with a uh, figure. Okay. Now, this ASG group is used to collect the orders. So, for example, if you're ordering something, this ASG group will collect all the orders and this will fulfill the orders. So I hope this is clear. Now the problem is the collection of the order, the processing of the orders is happening very quickly, which is expected. This is all right. But the bottleneck is this, that it takes longer than expected to fulfill the orders. We are getting the orders processing, the collecting collection of orders is perfectly all right. But when we are trying to fulfill it, it takes longer than expected. So there is one condition data loss must not happen if scaling happens all right so what are your options what you will do so uh, there are multiple things available in the aws there are multiple uh, services that you can work upon for example cloudwatch you can take example of that auto scaling group you can take example of that you can take example of sns which is simple notification service you can take example of auto scaling groups or uh, with sqs which is uh, i guess simple queue service i guess and you can make a combination of this all right so these are your options so i hope you have noted down the problem statement i hope you have noted down everything that is related to aws service which i just talked about i have not written it over here because i want you to pause the video understand the problem and the aws services that i talked about and then we'll talk about the solution all right so pause this video right now you can like the video in the meantime and once you are done with the problem statement and the solution that you are thinking will pr proceed this video all right okay so i hope you are ready with the solution and before moving further in the solution i would like you to uh, know that this is a common problem that is asked in any interview this is common problem that you can face in your uh, if you're working for such company in which you have uh, this kind of situation in which asg one is fulfilling the uh, taking the orders and the other asg is fulfilling the orders this has the question related to this has come in the associate certification exam for the AWS. So this is a quite common problem. All right. So uh, before I explain this, uh, there is something that I need you to know that the number of instances in your auto scaling group, which was this, uh, let me scroll this. So the number of instances in auto scaling group can be driven by how long it takes to process a message and the acceptable amount of latency. This is also known as Q delay. So the solution is to use a backlog per instance met metric 
with the target value being the acceptable backlog per instance to maintain. Now this is quite tough to understand right now. I'll give you the solution. All right, so let's work on that. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to use SQS over here. So SQS is simple queue service. Okay, so this is simple queue service. Now uh, in the terms of Amazon, it is known as Amazon SQS. So this is you need to know and I will help you understand this. So I will just Google it. So if you Google this, you will find this Amazon SQS. So Amazon SQS is fully managed message queuing for microservices, distributed system and serverless application. So if you want to get started, you want to understand, you can click on this. What it will do is it eliminates overhead with no upfront cost and without needing to manage software or maintain infrastructure. There are multiple things available over here. You can go through it, read it. I'm not going to read everything. How it works? It works like this. So there is a producer who sends message to Amazon SQS. Then there is Amazon SQS over here. You can read this. There is an encryption that happens and then it is shown to the customers. So I'll just uh, scroll down up and you can read it. Pause the video and you can go through it. Why do we use Amazon SQS? You can go through it. What is first in first out? There are multiple things available over here. We are not going to talk about all of this right now. I just wanted you to understand what is SQS. Let's go back to the solution. So what we're going to do is we're going to use two Amazon SQS. So the first thing is two SQS over here. And one of this SQS, SQS, let us consider something like this. This is one thing and this queue something like this okay this is you are going to use for order collection order collection let me remove this it is confusing okay order collection and other one you will be using for order fulfillment okay now uh, how does that queue fills with order? So let's say there is a order. It will go in a queue. One, two, three, four, five, and up to n number of orders. So this will go something like this. Okay. And similarly here, one, two, three, four, up to n number. So this is how a queue fills. Okay. A queue is basically a, a, a line when you, when you stand in front of a bank, you stand in front of an ATM. It's something like that. All right. To understand. Now, what you have to do is, this is the first part of the solution that you have to use two SQS. Then what you can do, you can configure the EC2 instance to pull their respective queues. So when this is ASG1, right? And this is ASG2. This was for what? Fulfillment. And this was for what? Collection of order. I like this. It is going to make a call to their respective queue. Okay. Not here here okay it is going to make a call over there now if you will configure the ec2 instances to pull their respective queues this is the second part of the op option now talk up let's talk about the third part let me name them for a second and this is first okay now in the third part you have to create a metric based on a backlog per instance calculation so create a metric now what exactly is metric metric is something that you can create a uh, let's let's understand this okay AWS metrics okay so this is CloudWatch metrics and you can understand in in a way let it open so using Amazon CloudWatch metrics metrics are data about performance of your systems by default many services provide free metrics for resources this and this Metric data is kept for 15 months, enabling you to view this and this, this and this. There are a lot of metrics available over here through which you can perform some kind of a function. Okay, let's go back. So you have to create a metric in such a way that it works on a backlog. Now, what exactly is a backlog? Backlog is something that is not fulfilled. Now, if you have got 10 orders and you have processed five orders, then five is a backlog. So if you have get 10 orders in total in total you have processed six then how many in backlog 10 minus 6 is what four orders 
so this is what exactly is a backlog okay so i hope you have understood it so you have to create a metric based on a backlog which is this and per instance calculation per instance calculation okay and then you have to scale the auto scaling group based on this metric so this is a part where your scaling will come so based on this metric you will get some values okay and on the basis of these values you have to scale your ASGs which is your auto scaling group auto scaling group okay based on this metric so you have to see how instance per calculation means how many instances are serving order for example one instance could be serving one order one instance could be serving 100 orders something like that okay so let us walk through this again so the problem statement that you are running a food delivery service or a company you are growing rapidly but you are experiencing scaling issues at the time of breakfast lunch dinner or snacks the current architecture is having two auto scaling groups in which there is asg1 asg2 it is collecting orders it is fulfilling orders the second one it happens quickly the collection of orders happens quickly it takes longer to fulfill the orders condition is that whenever there is a scaling happens data loss must not happen so that was the problem statement the solution has four steps let me select another color so the first one is this in which you can select sqs to sqs simple queue services i've already told what is sqs otherwise you can google it and understand how does an order come one two three four five six till n one two three four five six till n order collection has to happen in this order fulfillment has to happen in this this is the second part in which your first uh, there are multiple ec2 instances over here right so this is your ec2 this is your ec2 multiple instances it's going to make a call to their respective queues so collection will make a call to this order collection queues this one your fulfillment will make a call to this order fulfillment queue okay so this is how it is happening okay in the third step you have to create a metric i've already told you what exactly is a metric on a backlog and what exactly is a backlog if we have 10 orders in total six are processed then four is a backlog then you have to calculate how many orders are done by one instance that per instance calculation has to be done and after that on the basis of this you can scale your asts and that is this solution folks so pause the video over here try to understand what exactly i am saying over here if you have any problem if you have understanding uh, if you did not understand anything feel free to comment below and i will address that all right pause this video and if you have understood it just uh, throw a thumbs up over here uh, click the like button subscribe to the channel and put a comment that this video is helpful for you and share it with your folks because that would help us grow all right so i hope everything is understood if there is anything feel free to comment below we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one